Hello, my name is Ali Ray and this is my campervan Custard. Together, we travel the length and breadth of the UK, seeking out all the fabulous local food that our regions have to offer. The Clubs Eat Local campaign aims to inspire you to bypass the supermarket when you go on holiday and instead seek out the region specialities, shop in the farmers markets and support our independent producers. And of course, to cook something delicious on our campsites at the same time. Healthy eating doesn't have to be all about low calorie starvation. I like to think of it in terms of nutrition and fish really ticks the box. I'm gonna be grilling some freshly caught mackerel on the barbecue. Uh, perfect because I'm in our gorgeous Slapton Sand site here in South Devon. So that mackerel's just been caught this morning, fresh from the sea behind me. I'm gonna serve it with some rhubarb and some winter coleslaw. I'm gonna start with making the rhubarb. It's like a really simple compote. I've got some water bubbling away here in our Kadak tapas dishes. You could just use a saucepan if you needed to. So a couple of sticks of rhubarb. Now I'm not gonna use sugar, but you can use a couple of teaspoons if you like something a bit sweeter. But I like the tartness of the rhubarb because that's brilliant with a really oily fish like mackerel. So that's about three to four minutes. I'm gonna use a couple of these mackerel. Get the fishmonger to take the heads off and gut them if you're of the squeamish variety. All I'm going to do is just pat with a little, dry them a little bit with a kitchen paper. So once you've patted it, dry the paper, just make some slash marks through the skin about two centimetres apart. Oily fish like mackerel or sardines can take really strong flavours. That's why people serve it with horseradish and mustard. So I like to get my hands dirty here. About a teaspoon of mustard. Use your hands and spread it onto the skin of the fish and into those slash marks that you've made. That rhubarb's looking absolutely perfect. So about three or four minutes nice and soft. Now I'm just going to drain that. I'm just going to lightly spray the grid of the barbecue. I'm going to put my fish on. I want it nice and hot. Now that should take about five minutes on each side. They're quite fat mackerel so we'll just keep an eye on that. As a side dish I'm making some winter coleslaw. I've grated a beetroot. Into that I'm going to grate probably about half a celeriac, one of these kind of knobbly looking brains. I have to say this is a fabulous, fabulous tasting coleslaw. One beetroot and probably half of that. And into that, I'm using some half-fat creme fraiche. Two tablespoons of that. I'm also adding a couple of heaped teaspoons of horseradish. So that heat works brilliantly with the mackerel. So mix it all together. And then just a little squeeze of lemon juice. So I've just turned those fish. They look fantastic. So my final little side dish to go with this oily, hot mackerel is a cool cucumber and fresh mint salsa. Chop up your cucumber into small little cubes. On top of that, you're just gonna put a handful of chopped fresh mint. And then I'm just gonna serve it with the rhubarb, my cucumber and mint, and my winter coleslaw. So I've got freshly grilled mustard mackerel with a rhubarb compote, a winter celeriac and beetroot coleslaw, and some fresh cucumber and mint.